Chester. While many area students are still enjoying summer vacation, today some students in Chesterfield County are back in the classroom. It's part of the district's year-round calendar. CBS 6's Caroline Colburn was there as buses arrived at Bellwood Elementary this morning and joins us now live with how the first day back to class is shaping up. Hi, Caroline. Well, good afternoon, Cheryl. It's quiet out here right now, but this morning you could hear cheers of excitement from students and teachers as the 2022 school year got underway. And according to early data from the district, this year round model is helping students retain information learned throughout the school year. It's great to see the kids get off the bus. A lot of kids on the bus. It's back to the classroom for a few hundred Chesterfield students. First day of school for Bellwood and also Falling Creek Elementary for our year round school model. For the first time in more than two years, kids will start the school year without COVID restrictions. We've allowed, you know, the mass optional and you'll see some staff, you'll see some students. Uh, I think uh, our efforts of trying to keep the building clean, secure, in that area benefits us a great deal. Superintendent Merv Doherty says he's thankful for the new quarantine guidance announced just last week by the Department of Health, which no longer requires children exposed to a student with COVID to quarantine for five days. I think the opportunity for our kids to be in school, I think we, we, we saw the evidence of our children staying at home. It's not good for them, it's not good for the parents, it's not good for our teachers. Coming to school, the opportunity that we have benefits everyone. The district says COVID has made it difficult to track the full impact of year round schooling at Bellwood and Falling Creek. Chesterfield moved to this model in 2018 to try to make up for some of the learning typically lost over the summer. Uh, we've had other schools ask about it. We said, let us get some solid data like we asked the state we would do as well. And uh, so we'll look at it this year, next year, and really make a strong decision. While Chesterfield was short more than 150 bus drivers at this time last year, the district says there are just 40 open positions with about 30 drivers in training. We looked at increasing salaries and we gave bonuses and uh, we are listening to our drivers more as well. Which should lead to a smooth transition for everyone returning August 23rd. Now, Superintendent Merv Doherty is over at Falling Creek Elementary School right now, touring that school and welcoming students back. The district also tells me they've upgraded their HVAC systems over the summer and they'll continue to improve ventilation. Working for you in Chesterfield County, I'm Caroline Colburn, CBS 6 News.